Matilda is one of the best roamers in this current meta. However, only a few people know how to use her at her maximum potential. Number 1. Ulting front enemy to dash to the back line. Ulting on the front enemy and pretending you're going for them, while your intention is to dash to the back line with your ally, catches the enemy off guard and is a good way to focus the back line. Because even if the enemy core is aware they could be targeted when you're ulting, you can also flicker at the same time when you dash to get even closer to the target. Number 2. Matilda Playstyle To use Matilda at her best, knowing her playstyle is important. As Rome Matilda, your main jobs are 1. Focusing the back line, where you take an ally with you who can kill the enemy marksman or enemy mage. 2. Saving allies using second skill with shield and healing. 3. Continuously poking the enemies, where you're playing aggressively. Number 3. Skill Combos The first combo is first third second. This combo is recommended when camping, where you can use your second skill to either make your ally follow up or save it later for escape. The second combo is first second third. This combo is recommended for catching up enemies when they aren't close to you. And when dashing with ultimate, make sure that you aim so you don't auto-aim, because then there's a chance you'll end up dashing to the wrong enemy. Number 4. Adding Flicker to the Combos You can add second plus Flicker to these combos, because sometimes the second skill alone isn't enough to save your teammate or reach an enemy. This allows you to catch the back line without having to use ultimate on a front enemy. Number 5. Stacking first skill. When camping and poking as Matilda in the early game, and you're using first skill, make sure to move around the bush to increase the stacks from first. People tend to stay still when they camp in a bush, but as Matilda, try to avoid doing that when using first skill as walking around increases the stacks and adds more damage. Number 6. Baiting as Matilda using her second skill. Matilda's second skill allows you to enter in and out of teamfights easily, since it has a low cooldown, plus the fact that it gives you shield plus healing from Rome Blessing, allowing you to sustain even more. But to bait, try to make them follow you by thinking they can kill you or let them poke you a bit, then escape with second skill or with the ultimate dash if the second skill isn't enough. Also, always make sure there are allies who can back you up. Number 7. Heroes that Matilda counters plus gets countered by. Knowing her counters and those who counter her can tell you when it's best to pick Matilda, but at the same time, which heroes you should be careful playing against. Heroes who counters Matilda are Eve, Ling, Barats, Farsa, Terizla's ultimate, since Matilda can help an ally out of the ultimate, and same goes for countering Ixia's ultimate. However, heroes who counters her are Ruby, Kaya, Wallon, Mincither, Kufra, and Franco. Basically heroes with CC, but the reason Wallon counters her as well is because of her mobility to keep up with Matilda's movement. Number 8. Recommended Build, Emblem, and Battle Spell. These are the builds that I recommend. You should use the first build when you see that there are more physical damage enemies than magic damage, and use the second build when there's more magic damage than physical. After you build boots, you should buy steel leg plates first before you go for Flask of the Oasis. This allows you to be a little more sustained while going for a non-defense item. Despite it not giving any defense, it can save you when you're low health, as it gives you healing and shield plus reduces your cooldown and allows you to basically dash once again.